Okay guys, so the Maytag washer that we've had for almost three years, it quit working. It was plugged up, um, but it was getting no power to here. No lights were coming on, nothing was working. So I, I looked at some videos and I took this back panel off and I was having trouble. They were trying to see, I was trying to see if it was a fuse or you know what I could see. So the easy way to get this off is you unscrew all of this stuff. Um, screws here and a screw here. And then this whole unit actually slides forward. If I can show you here. This whole unit right here. So I lifted it up. And here, silver clips. Take some, take some pliers and squeeze that together. And then take this one, it's hiding right up under there. That's this little silver clip under here. Squeeze that one. Um, and then this top, this top control panel comes right off. Um, I've already had it apart and uh, I'll show that in the next uh, part of the video, but that's how you get that part off. I, I left that one out of the other video. All right, I have a Bravo, it's a Maytag Bravos, um, whatever this thing is, washing machine. It wasn't working. Um, it was plugged in, wasn't coming on, wasn't turning on. Um, saw some other videos about how to pull all this stuff apart, and I was hoping I wouldn't have to replace this control unit, which is about $300. Um... What I saw whenever I unplugged it, there was a little green light back here and it was flashing. So that showed me that it was still getting power, that power cord was good. So what I ended up doing was right here where it connects. These four little things down here. I ended up taking a Q-tip and some rubbing alcohol and just cleaning all of that really well. And it works like a charm. Super easy, super simple, and it costs nothing. Maytag, you suck.